A degree in construction management is a great way to expand your knowledge in the world of construction, especially if you haven't spent a lot of time out in the field, if you haven't worked tool bags, and you're more into kind of classroom type learning atmosphere. And if you have the time and the money to put in to get the degree, it is, it's great for the resume. And so I thought I'd take a little bit of time and talk about um, kind of what I went through to get my degree in construction management and how it's helped me progress and get me to the place where I am now. And uh, just kind of give you some insight um, in case it's something that you want to look into. I just did a quick Google search and there are quite a few um, online construction management degree programs that are out there. Um, I went to, I mean, I got my degree 20 years ago, so there wasn't as many options back then um, as there are now. And based just on a quick Google search, there are a lot more colleges and institutions that are offering the degree. When I first got into it, it was a five-year degree, and then kind of halfway through it, it jumped down to a four-year degree. And, um, and, and it really does provide a great base of knowledge. You know, we went through everything from, um, code books to, um, figuring out man hours for equipment use, scheduling. Um, uh, we went into, um, structural design, designing beams, whether or not they're steel or wood, um, general construction practice, um, heavy, heavy, um, heavy equipment use and, and, earth moving and just kind of the whole gamut of it. Um, the one thing that I will say based on the, the program that I was in is that it, um, uh, it tailored itself to heavy construction. Um, a lot of the guys that were in my class, um, that came out of, out, out of the program went into working for huge commercial companies, um, companies that, you know, were worldwide or nationwide. And, um, they would spend hours and hours working at either as a project engineer or as a, um, a foreman, superintendent, project manager, work their way up and, and get, their self, get themselves into those types of roles. Um, for myself, and you know, no, no uh, negativity for me on whoever goes down those paths, but that side of things, I dove into it a little bit and I just, for myself personally, I didn't want to travel. And I didn't want to work my life away. I didn't want to work 70 hours a week. And a lot of times, those huge commercial big projects, that's kind of what they require. You're going to follow the work around. So you're traveling all over the place, sometimes worldwide. And you're going to work lots and lots of hours. And you get paid a great wage. But for myself, I, I love where I live. I wanted to go home at night. I wanted to be a part of you know, where I live. I didn't want to be gone and I wanted to have a family and be around for my family. So I, myself, I took my degree. I spent a little bit of time in that world, a little bit of time in the small commercial world. And then I hopped over to being a superintendent for a house builder, a local house builder, building houses, kind of cutting my teeth, learning the processes and, and all the ins and outs of, of residential construction before I eventually hopped over into being a building inspector. And um, the degree itself has helped me through all of my um, all of my careers, you know, whether or not it was starting at the very beginning and working uh, as internships while I was in college, all the way up to where I am now. I can say that the degree probably helped me get some of my jobs, but I don't know that it was necessary. As a superintendent for the home builder, I think I was one, two, there's two of us out of probably like eight or nine superintendents that had degrees. So it's not a, a requirement. As a building inspector, I am the only one within my jurisdiction where I work that has a degree in construction management or any degree for that matter, as far as our inspection group. And I think even our plans examiner group. Um, so it's not something you have to have to get into the world of construction. I would tell you that it helps you get a job. It helps you get your foot in the door. Um, but I would lean on just experience out in the field, wearing tool belts, getting into a trade, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, whatever it is. If you want to eventually become an inspector, 
you know, get really fluent in whatever those code requirements are for whatever trade you're working in, build up your resume on those specific items. Um, you know, if you've got the funds or the time, by all means, get a degree in construction management. But if you don't have that to, to lean on or the funds to, to, to go after it, spend your time getting into the field and learning the lingo, the language, how do people talk, what are the things they're, they're working on, how does it all go together, and why does it go together. And I think that'll go a long way as well as building up your resume and giving you an option and the ability to, you know, get your foot in the door and get a job in whatever career path you're looking for. But if it's as an inspector or a plans examiner or something like that, um, all those things help. Um, by all, by all means though, if you get certified, you know, if you spend the time studying to get certified and you get the field experience, I think that's going to, you know, blow the top off of it as far as getting in and getting a job. Um, the degree helps. And I know nowadays a lot more people maybe look for that as a separator, but the certifications are huge as well. And if you're going to spend time studying and then you're going to pay for a college degree, you could spend your time studying and then get paid to be out on site. And, you know, at the end of the day, it might equalize itself out and it didn't cost you a bunch of loans in college degree. With that being said, though, I am not telling anybody not to go down that road. And the degree was amazing. The experience was great. Some of the field trips and things that we got to do and experience were amazing as far as getting out on job sites, seeing heavy equipment move. We even went up uh, one time and watched um, some contractors blow up the side of a mountain, um, watched them set up their chargers and, and build their uh, explosive materials and shove them down some holes and, and it was really cool. So this is just kind of a quick rundown on kind of what I went through and what I experienced in getting a degree in construction management, kind of some of the, some of the um, classes that I took, you know, granted it was like 20 years ago, so I don't remember everything. Um, but I do know it, it ended up being a four year degree. I ended up getting a minor in architecture, which kind of helped out a little bit. That's where, you know, I found out that I couldn't sit in an office all day and draw footing details. So I had to get out and get it and, and be out on site and be out in the weather, um, which then drove me into a degree in construction management. So hopefully this helps you out. If you're just kind of waffling on whether or not to jump into it or not, if you got any questions or comments, definitely put some below and uh, hit the like button if this helps you out and uh, we'll see you on the next, next video.